Hello and welcome to the first episode of a playthrough of Sim Golf, or Sid Meier's Sim Golf, I should say. And this is a, uh, uh, well, it's it's a game that I come back to every now and then and play a little bit just to uh, relax and uh, enjoy it. It's a uh, quite nice game from the early 2000s. I'm just going to go ahead and start a new game here, and we're going to go play on Impossible. And it truly is impossible, so I'm not sure this, uh, I'll probably do a difficult playthrough afterwards, because I'll, I'll show you when the game kind of starts breaking down a little bit, at least for YouTube recording uh, purpose. But, we go from uh, impressive, no, sorry, not <laughs> impressive, <laughs> impossible. Uh, we start with 100,000 simoleons, and there are four different tile sets that we can choose from here. We have uh, the um, North American tile set, we have the um, European tile set, we have uh, Tropical and Desert tile sets. Personally, I prefer the North American one, and I think we're just going to go with that, if I'm being honest. Now, you can re-roll these selections time and time and time again until you get what you want. I mean, these... Uh, the amount of acres and how much they cost can vary, but what isn't going to vary is the bonus, like Scenic Waterfall, Japanese Garden, uh, these things do you kind of get as a, uh, a bonus. Uh, some things are better than others. I would say dolphins aren't really that good at all. And I would say three putting greens is good. And uh, let's see what else we could get uh, possibly on this tile set. A free hotel in the Rocky Mountains. Now, I think maybe we go for that free hotel, although... Yeah, let's re-roll until we can get a free hotel. There we are, 50 acres for 50,000. That will do it. We'll get that free hotel. First off, I just want to pause the game. And, uh... Yeah, so here's what we got to work with. I do prefer usually going for like maybe something like 70 acres. It gives you a little bit more room uh, to start with. But we have this uh, resort hotel now. And if I can show you real quick what they actually do for us. Um, uh, golfers stay happier, which is very good when you're playing on Impossible. So we got, uh, as you can see, a little bit of terrain to work with here. What I'm going to do real quick is just kind of fix a little bit of a bug that is in the game. Um, it's been a while, so I can't really remember all the keys at the moment. But we just kind of change the uh, terrain elevation on one tile. And then the rest of the terrain kind of settles in. And, uh, well, now that we have done that... Um, does we have a few things like this is a rock face that gives some bonuses to like golf for happiness and whatnot but then right next to it you have this water tower which i don't think you can demolish those no that's permanent so you can't demolish this and it makes golfers unhappy to see uh, we got some scenic trees uh, this tree here that tree there and uh, this one over here and this one which would make golfers happier and what is this down here I have no idea what that down there was, but we apparently removed it, so, okay. Uh, either way, so, you kind of got to find, where do you want to start your golf course out? Alright, so you kind of got a plan. You can expand later on, and I'll get to explaining how that works when it, uh, well, when we, when we kind of get there. Uh, so, the first year, you can kind of go a little bit in a negative, uh, simoleon-wise. And it doesn't really matter. So, but if you go, if you're in a negative for two years, then you are uh, well, it's game over. We'll try not to be too much in a negative for too long. We're just going to try to level out these various buildings uh, to kind of be connected with flat ground, if that makes sense. Um, uh, no, 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 I'm doing something wrong here now. I just want them on plus three across the board so they kind of sit correctly in the terrain. I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to this game. I like to make things kind of look subjectively good, at least in my eyes. That's the one of these tiles that I'm missing at another altitude. Or... Yes, this one. Alright, so... Uh, the cursor isn't the most accurate either, is it's kind of a thing. Okay, but uh, here we are. So, let's start building our first hole. And where do we build that? Hmm. 
I'm thinking we could make a part three go from here to there. Something like that. Uh, and yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I yep, I have an idea. Uh, we're gonna make two holes, and uh, we'll see how that goes. At least we're, we're gonna start with two holes, just so we have a little bit for people to play on. Uh, I'm not gonna waste too much money just yet, but I kind of like to remove trees where I'm putting pathways down. But it doesn't really matter. It's not something you need to do. Uh, also, I just like to kind of have pathways uh, going around here and there and wherever it makes sense. Maybe not exactly that. You can remove... If you don't place two things in one tile, you can remove the last thing that you placed in the tile. Alright, so I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to have a pathway connection like this. Now, the thing is... I would like to see... Um, okay, we're going to put the tea there, and what I like to have is a, uh, a ball washer. But, uh, we should also get into the terrain a little bit here, and make it, uh, I don't know, I just kind of like to make it look as good as I can, at least. Like, kind of make topographical sense uh, in my mind so as I already said I, I have a little bit of OCD when I play this game I want things to at least the areas that I have been doing some work on to kind of look smooth and nice and lowering and raising terrain that's free and it's it's a good tool to um, to shape the holes the way you want them now I'm thinking we put the green maybe over here here. That should be part three. Yes, it is. And I would like to also have just a little bit of extra bowl off points there for the green. Actually, maybe we do it like this. We put the green like this. And then we get uh, just a couple of bunkers there. Just some bunkers. Just so that the ball won't roll off the map and people will go out of bounds and just kind of hate the course. Uh, which which can happen, and I'd rather have it not happen if I can. I'm just gonna kind of give him a little bit of area to land on here, and I'm thinking we get another bunker here just for looks. People are gonna kind of like to have some bunkers down. It's you know it's gonna be perceived as a challenging object that they need to go like yeah something they need to deal with basically. I'm going to have a pathway go out here and onto the green. Then I would like to have a pathway going out here leading to the next T, which is going to be here. And we press H to open hole. And there we go. A long 201 yard part 3 is now open for play. What we're going to do is rename our course. Um, YouTube Peaks MC because this is kind of like a mountainous terrain area, so I think that works. Uh, a little bit of a weird thing. Uh, you see the corner edge here? It you can't like you can't interact with it. So it's got to be just zero, uh, which is weird. I, I don't think you can do this either. No, but you can interact with the other edges. So it's like the, for some reason the northern edge you just you can't touch it. Let's rotate back to uh, the original view here. And before we open this hole for play, I want to um, just kind of make a few adjustments. Let's go uphill a little bit. Uh, right. Let's try to create some challenges where we can. Or like a smooth, natural curve. Now, you can really mess around with this in crazy ways. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of make a course that looks good looks appealing to me anyway whether or not you find it appealing well i guess you can let me know in the comments if you want and either way so this is kind of looking nice-ish kind of okay i'm gonna do like this There we go. I'm kind of happy with 
terrace terrain it's looking it might be a little bit overkill on green now the thing is underneath the green you can place pathways and uh, that will speed up play I think we do it like this right they have a straight shot here and they can maybe go around or do whatever the heck they I would feel like Just lower this down to two here like such so it's kind of a little bit of a hill they have to go up and we'll do this, I think. Like so. Uh, can't really spend too much simoleons on uh, various uh, improvements, like or adding stuff to the terrain right now. I just, I don't want to spend too much money on stuff that is necessarily necessary. We had a ball washer on the corner. And I kind of want another ball washer right there, so before they tee off on the next hole, they can, uh, can interact with that. And I'm going to have this pathway lead up here, that way. Uh, pathways that are connected to your, like, um, your clubhouse, uh, they will, well, they will uh, become upgraded. I'm not sure if this has any actual impact on the game or anything but it just kind of looks a bit better so uh yeah how we go uh, i think i will in fact just upgrade the underlying pathway now as soon as you do that instead of having uh redo and reset the rough right so this could be economically terrible for me because now it's removed path and we can't get the money back for the green it's gonna speed up play However, which is good and kind of necessary on Im impossible. Uh, I'm not going to put it in the bunker, so although it would speed up play there as well, but it would kind of mess with the, the path a little bit. It would look a bit weird, and I just don't want it to look a bit weird. Um, we can probably put in some rocks in this area, just to kind of increase the challenge a bit. So they need to be a bit accurate on this hole. Uh, usually in golf, you uh, the part of the course always takes into account that you should be able to have two short strokes like to get in a hole. Like, so part three would be like, get on the green on the first, and then you have two strokes on the green to be on par. That's kind of you know because you know, putting is it's tricky. I played a bit of golf myself, and I might dabble into some stories uh, from that. I've actually I played two tournaments in my life, in real life. Um, the first tournament was the opening tournament on a new golf course. And uh, I was first up on hole one. First stroke, I landed a hole one. In fact, uh, <laughs> so that was kind of crazy. Uh, the crazy part is that I didn't actually land, I might get more into that story later, but I didn't actually hit the hole so much as it was raining and the flag was wet and I hit the flag. And the ball wrapped up into the flag due to it being very wet. And it just kind of like unwrapped and dropped down into the hole. So I had a hole one. Uh, quite crazy stuff. Um, and then I was like, that's how you play golf. Fuck this shit. I'm going home. You know, quit while you're ahead. I didn't really want to be there. I was forced by my parents that day to be there and kind of play golf on a Saturday where it was freaking pouring down. Uh, so yeah, I just... I quit while I was ahead, no one could say anything to that, so I just, uh, that's how I do it, fuck off, I'm going home. And, uh, yeah, um, the second tournament I played, I won. And after that I didn't play any more tournaments. Maybe I should have. I could have gone, maybe, a long way with golf. Who knows. Um, my cousin became a pro, though, so, I mean, he, he has several holes and ones to his name. But hey, I mean, I got a hole in one before him. We played in the same tournament, so. Alright, so the thing is, I want to have, like, a maybe dog leggy or whatever it's called, like going straight and then turns here. Kind of hole. Um, I'm going to remove some trees to make that happen. There's a lot of rocks and such down here. I think we'll do it like this. Yeah, maybe we can play around with those trees. We'll see if we'll uh, 
be removing those trees or not. It's a power four. That's fine. This tree I don't want to remove. Okay, so let's just keep that tree as well. Oh wait, is this a scenic tree? It might not be actually. Yeah, I might get into more detail on those tournaments later. I feel like I shouldn't be um, blabbering on too much about them. But either way, yes, I mean like when I'm done here, I'll have to go back over here and then in onto the hole which is going to slow down play a little bit i could have a bridge go down here but i'd have to alter the terrain quite drastically and i'm just not sure i want to do that i'm gonna have two holes in action before we open up the course and just all the facilities required uh, i'm not sure this hole is really that good <laughs> to be honest but let's just put a bunker here to have a perceived uh, hindrance. I'll put a pot bunker there, just make it look a bit scary for the guys that are playing here. Or girls, or girls, no discrimination. And just also, maybe... Just around with the terrain a little bit. I like to do that, to make the course look a bit smooth and whatnot. Yeah, something like this. should kind of do yeah let's make a pretty deep hole here that they can go into like this something like this uh, I should probably just for sake of playing better kind of roll it off here a bit so the bunkers are kind of glitchy on the graphics, which can be a bit annoying, but it is unfortunately just how it is. You get like black lines and like this, right? And then you need to change it a bit to make it go away and just just some annoying, ugly graphical levels, basically. Right, so we can always change this later. This doesn't really look super good. Um, Looks like it might work in the start. As people play, they will make some comments on your course and whatnot, so you can kind of use them as a pointer to uh, how you should be doing things, what you need to change, etc. What I think we need to change is the uh, elevation level, so like maybe, maybe it's more like this. Um, yeah, I mean we can we can mess around with that more later. Just want to see this um, the hole right there. It's a par five now. Probably going to get changed to a par four in the future when there's a tournament being held because it's a very short par five. Uh, as people, that's not necessarily a good thing because people are oh this hole this hole is too easy. They're going to start complaining and such. So. But this is really too easy though, it's, uh, it's, it. it's going to be some challenges, they're, they're going to have to think a little bit, which is going to spark into the uh, creativity part of the sim, <laughs> the sims, and uh, the interaction with them, we're just going to have a pathway lead out from here, and into the uh, resort hotel. Alright, so we have, uh, we have two holes, I want to get some benches out, we're going to go for these benches I think. And uh, we'll put them just kind of along here. Oh, ah, that's a bit many benches. I don't think we need that many. Um, there we go, we have some benches. I kind of want to put some here as well, but this is like the edge of the map. So it's, well, there's some issues uh, regarding that. Now, what I think could be a good idea, an expensive idea, but a good idea, would be um, to kind of, no, let's just keep that as is. Um, yeah, it's going to be expensive, but it's going to be good to keep uh, people happy in this way. We're going to 
put water here. Then we're going to put, uh, put a scenic bridge going across the water, which costs 10,000. Every time a golfer walks over a scenic bridge, they're going to be happier. So we could have them walk over here, play here, tee off here, go back over the scenic bridge once more. And uh, life should be good. I kind of don't want people to be going out of bounds because they get so unhappy when that happens. Therefore, I'm kind of building this hole a little bit around that. So, uh, this bunker right there is going to bug in and out quite a bit, I believe. Uh, let's just, uh, yeah, let's get down whatever we can afford right now. I don't want to push it too far. You need to make this money back. Um, we're in 14,000 in negative right now. Put a couple of benches here after this hole. Oh, now it's a par 4 again. Okay, that, we're just going to open it. It is a dog leg to the left. Right. Uh, we might want to make some changes to it in the future. It looks a bit tricky right now, maybe due to these trees being here. But I think it's fine. So we have two holes. Yeah, a putting green allows your golfer with... Oh, we can get a putting green now. Uh, I think maybe we should. If it isn't too expensive. 10,000, that's not too expensive. Right, so the thing is, uh, the golfers will kind of go on the putting green before starting the entire journey of this. We're going to remove path here, I think. And we'll put the putting green just right there. Uh, many golfers will go on the, on the putting green before they start playing. And they will pay a little bit to do that. And it will make them better at putting. So it's kind of a win-win. You have them play for a short duration of time due to playing better and they pay to get that ability and they might hit the hole in one stroke less leading to the f uh, well leading to them uh, paying more in green mm. fees and we'll get we'll get to how that works um just gonna make a little bit of a terrain change here so that does uh, a little bit going on with this we're, go we're gonna make the terrain and everything's gonna look smoother as we progress it looks smooth and nice. And uh, there we are. Yeah, I mean, it just looks a little bit weird, but it's whatever. It, it's going to work, so it's not a big deal. Now, we can also get a sundial out, which will uh, make for happy golfers. So I think maybe we do that. Um, hmm. I want a sundial. They're going to come through here, and they're going to play on that hole, so... That's, uh, it's 5,000, but it could be worth it. We'll do this with it. We're just going to lower the terrain there, so it uh, doesn't have, like, an edge to it. We might put another one out. And then after this, it's just two years of... Uh, yeah, it, it's just two years, basically. We can put one here as well. So it's right next to them. Then, then they have like, uh, this is the, yeah, like the pearly gates. You can go through this area here later. And then it's like a separate section of its own with this hole. Yeah, it looks a bit ugly over here, I'm not going to lie. Um, that might be better. Maybe. Let's put out some flowers. Uh, let's go with these orange ones that have... Uh, they are not orange, but it doesn't really matter. What the hell is up? We're going to remove the benches and place them out again, because that looked really weird. And we'll just see if we can maybe not have it look that way. All right, we're going to remove the flowers, because for some reason the benches are just kind of overlay, uh, overlaid over them. And I don't know exactly what the heck that's about, so... Well, there you have it. And let's just... Go rock sale as well, you know. Just oh, that's the thing, right? You know, edit preferences. I would like to not include animals and in habitats because they're just kind of ugly and annoying. Right, we're just gonna put some more rock sale, I think. Just kind of fill it all out. We can remove them if we want to. It's not a problem. There we go. That just 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 to have like sort of a uniform look to the place, right? Wasting money like crazy on stuff that doesn't even matter. But, 
that being said, I mean, we have two holes, and I think we can unpause. And what I'm going to do, real quick, is I'm going to play... Welcome to YouTube Peaks Golf Club. The unexpected passing of a great uncle Harry has left you in possession of YouTube Peaks. The property includes rolling hills, crisp woodlands, and a sparkling waters. A sparkling waters? Hmm. However, Uncle uh, Harry was somewhat in a hurry with uh, with letting you read stuff, so... Well, we got our first uh, players. Oh, that's another thing that I kind of forgot. We need a few employees. Uh, we can't get... The, you need at least six holes to be able to, uh, to buy the more expensive ones. But we're going to have a groundskeeper or two, as they will remove weeds. Which is actually quite important. So we'll just put the groundskeeper there, and I think we'll have one more groundskeeper. Uh, which we will place here. They can go a little bit outside the radius, it's all good. Well, let's see how they play this whole hole. Oh, we got corporate CEO JP Big Dome playing on the course today. I kind of want to try to course out myself with my player character, but... Um, if you do, you kind of throw away whoever's, like, about to hit on hole one. And JP Big Dome... Well, he might bring us some money. So let's just keep an eye on the happiness. At some point, when you play an impossible, it seems that... Uh, you have to just fully zoom out and play the game like this. And the reason for that is that... Uh, things like the sundial, right? It makes golfers happy when they're near it. But I think they also need to be on screen for that to trigger. Uh, and you really need to keep them happy on impossible. But uh, we'll get more to it. Uh, it kind of breaks down, so I, I don't want to sit and play in the most zoomed out way possible when I'm recording for YouTube. It's just not going to look good. Alan has just paid your first greens fee of 900 smolians. Golfers pay at the end of each hole. Happy golfers pay higher fees. Unhappy golfers pay less. Greens fees are your main source of revenue, so it pays to keep your golfers happy. Refer to your financial report for more detailed information. 900 smolians is actually pretty good, so I guess he's quite happy. I'm just kind of waiting for JP Big Dome to get out there. Par, that's the best course they've ever played, they say. Uh, fun factor is 87%. Fun factor is not really worth anything. It is on easy and normal. Uh, as for the higher fun factor you have, or rather you need fun factor to be able to expand. On impossible and difficult, it is, however, skill rating. Uh, could it be any more rocks? Solomon's next shot looks extremely difficult. Right, but that's the point though. It's supposed to look difficult, but not necessarily be. So, uh, let's see, JP Big Dome is on the course. There's some new people coming out there. We're going to actually do a practice round with, uh, I've called him Randy Ranger. You can get an employee called Randy Ranger, and I just kind of played a little bit off that. Um... Yeah, add 10 skill points. I mean, some people say you should put 10 into everything to activate the skill and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Uh, I find it... I often put just everything into luck. But then you get the shit shot and you lose luck and you can't... Like, there's some intricacies to how this system works. Uh, you need, a, like, a six-hole course to go past this and a nine-hole course to go past this percentage. I don't remember exactly what the percentages are. You can go up, you can go down, it just kind of depends. And what I'm thinking is I'll... Uh, okay, so I'll tailor this to the first two holes that we have here. I think we're going to go for accurate irons, accurate driver, long driver, uh, my backspin shot, power hitter, and uh, put one in draw shot, and I think just like another in the power hitters. So, yeah, is this optimal? No, probably not. But now we can play on the hole, or on the course. So let's see. Uh, we do not chase away JP Big Dome, so it's all good. And as you can see, it's a fairly straightforward hole. You can just go like this. You don't have that many different uh, swings to go for. And I, I apologize for this taking a little while to kind of get rolling here. Oh, hmm. Uh, Randy Ranger launches. Uh, Randy Ranger launches a tricky drive, 162 yards safely onto the fairway at hole one. 
This he looks on in amazement. It's actually terrible. It's got a tree between him and the an actual hole now. But Randy Rager's long driver skill improves to thirty percent. Beautiful. Okay, so this could be uh, oh first skill upgrade, and that lets me upgrade my skills even more. Uh, you get some accompli professional accomplishments from time to time. Uh, I'd say just accurate putt could help, so we'll just go for twenty percent of these. And here we are. Uh, how unhappy did people become from this? He has not done anything yet. He's playing with me, so okay. Uh, it seems like at some point it will just like everyone gets super unhappy, and it just kind of has a domino effect to it when you play on impossible. Unless you have enough things on the course to make them and keep them happy, and play zoomed out like this. But honestly, uh, then you expand the course more. You're gonna have to play soon that like this. So we're gonna play until the game kind of breaks down and I'll show you how it breaks down on Impossible. And then we're probably gonna be playing on uh, uh, on another difficulty after. I hope we can go over the tree here. Let's see. Uh, someone went out of bounds. Alright, so that, that's the happiness thing coming into play. Right, uh, Randy Rager hit the tree. The ball bounced back. It upset him, but it was all, never mind, nice landmark, uh, which would be the sundial. Uh, did, did he just hit the tree again? He just hit the tree again. Okay, we're going to go for a low ball this time then. It doesn't really matter. It's just practice, and uh, we're just getting a little bit of an idea of how to play this hole. Um, yeah, Randy Rager is this the best player right now. Someone went out of bounds, though. Uh, just... A problem is going to make them unhappy. It's going to kind of mess with the the flow of the specific course that they're on. I don't think. I mean, whatever. It's the thing is, uh, the people playing on your golf course as well. They will get better over time. Their skills increase as well. So you start out in the the garbage, right? They won't hit far. They won't hit accurately. So. What that means is that like the course that is good or early game might be not so useful to you later in the game. We gotta keep an eye on the happiness level. Okay, they haven't teed off yet. Oh look at that! Randy Rager launches a tricky drive 201 yards safely onto the fairway to hole two. This he looks on in amazement. Randy Rager's long driver skill improves to 40%. Beautiful. Now. Also, the years aren't actual full years. It's not 12 month years in this game. Or at least not in this tile set. More like 8 months or something. I'm not sure. Uh, basically, the winter part of the year it is um, it's an off season uh, for golf. It kind of is. In real life, you know, I mean, if it's snow out there, you, you might not want to play golf that much. You can. You can have like balls that are, have like a red or yellow or pink color to it or whatever, any color you want really. So they're easier to see in the snow, but playing in snow, that's a, that's a bit different. Corporate CEO JP Big Dome has decided to invest in your course. I'll give you 10,000 for... Oh, we have, have a member as well. Nice. I think we're gonna try... to play it a little bit safe, like... this okay i think before next year we can still do uh, some stuff so yeah we can spend some money we're just going to put a fairway there so this whole isn't completely ridiculous all right randy rager knocks a tricky tree which shot 175 yards to within 36 yards of the pin at hole two this he looks on amazement randy rager's draw shot right to left skill improves to 30 percent holy fuck is this improving quickly um this time around it usually isn't that quick Okay, we've just kind of simplified the hole a little bit by removing that tree there. So hopefully um, that turns out to be the correct decision. So we have a few things out here that are making people happier. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna actually get one more thing out here before we can't spend any more money. If I could find the correct place, uh, which would be here. We're gonna have one more sundial. Right there. It, it's all that we have right now that we can work with, so. Ah, you see, these guys are unhappy. Must I walk up the steep slope? 
Uh, what's this? Where are they? JP, they what, what's Steep Slope are you talking about? Uh, Jessica and Gilbert are beginning a story called Brains Luck the Internet. Depending on how they like the course, the story may come to a happy ending or it may not. Either way, something something. Uh, I did okay uh, on my first round of golf on my own course, sir. And I just want to see. Because uh, these guys are so unhappy. So will this improve? Right, they kind of come out neutral. And then you need to make them happy as they play. Unhappy golfers are going to get the fuck off the golf course. They're going to throw the clubs in the water. They're going to start yelling and screaming and ranting and raging. And other golfers are going to see this. And they're going to start yelling and screaming and ranting and raging. And if you got one guy going crazy. Then it's going to have a negative domino effect. And then suddenly the entire course is going crazy. Don't want to play. Hate your course. Don't play. Go home and never come back again. So that's something to watch out for. At least on Impossible. If that happens, it, it can be game over, really. Like, yeah, you, you can really... If, you, if you're in a bad financial position when that happens, you could be uh, in trouble. Building a great golf course requires imagination, intuition, persistence, and a bulldozer. The basic idea is to present a play with a variety of uh, shots, which appear challenging and require strategic thinking, but are within the player's ability. <clears throat> the philosophy is known as look hard and play easy. Players who enjoy your course... See, I'm trying to read this fast. I, if I didn't take those uh, correction breaks in between, I might have been able to go to get through it. Leo is not happy. He's not having fun. Must I walk up the steep slope? Oh, your skill rating is up to 0 0.83 and your fame is spreading. Wealthy heiress Ivana Richman. I want a rich man. It's playing a course today. Basically, what she will do, she will donate a landmark. In example, one of these uh, sundials. Uh, and the first one is free. She's like, dr she's like a drug dealer in that sense. The first one is free. And then you can buy more of that landmark afterwards. So let's hope she gives us something good. We're gonna just watch her play through her and then uh, we'll cut the episode after that, I think. So we're just gonna follow her around. Leo is just not enjoying himself and I'm just not sure why. He walked up a steep slope. But it's the steep slope. Like that happened, that triggered here. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, right, okay, so he was, hmm, we need to change the terrain elevation here, to like, this needs to be like, one. Which kind of sucks a little bit, but oh well, now we have a waterfall, at the very least. Woohoo. Okay, so the thing is, if they walk up slopes that are steeper than... Uh, a plus two incline, they're gonna start complaining about it. He walked off like into that tile a little bit and said, Oh, this is so steep. What? This steep slope here? Oh, yeah. Nope, that's that's correct. That's a steep slope. Okay, well, uh, quite frankly, I think that problem has been dealt with. Okay, well, so that, yeah, these little things, you gotta, you know, you, know, you gotta be on a ball. <laughs> Uh, no pun intended, uh, when it comes to these things. Because if you leave that hanging, then everyone, you know, there's a good chance that, say, maybe half your golfers are going to start playing in a bad mood. But our skill rating is 1.47. So skill rating on this is, uh, a fun fact of 90% so far, skill rating is the best the total skill rating of, uh, well, 0.76. And this one over here. I mean, you just have to kind of, you need a larger sample size, right? You need to just let the holes play out and whatnot. And I think it's good that we kind of funnel them back over the scenic bridge here when they're done on this hole. I wonder if maybe we should have had it somewhere else. Nah, nah, it's fine. It's I built it there because it was like a land bridge and then I put water in, so. Birdie, this is too easy. And you can see, like there's been three people, uh, ten people had par, two had a bogey, and three people had a birdie. Don't complain if you're doing good. You know, uh, why not be like that? So I'm just waiting for Ivana to tee off and how she goes. Oh. And... Yeah, she's probably going to be in a good mood for that. Um... I'm not sure exactly what the differences are between the various difficulties, except for what I've already said, like easy, normal, uh, 
being more fun rating based and um, difficult and impossible being more skill rating based when it comes to progressing your course. I mean, we're getting good good payment here. Plus 900, plus 800. Um, we're at the end of the year, so we're going to have one year after this to uh, get ourselves back in the green. But what we can do, if it's really clinchy, you know, it's, it's getting close, we can just sell some stuff that we uh, we purchased. Can I? There we go. Okay. Well, let's see what uh, Ivana Richman wants. Uh, well, we know what she wants. Um, but how she does, I mean. Right, okay. I, I think it's an interesting hole. It goes down, it goes back up again. Golf holes fall into various categories depending on the skills they require. Hole 1 has been recognized as your first precise type hole. Precision holes reward accurate shots, length, and imagination. It's not so important. The DC, they really don't give you enough time to read this, at least not out loud. If I read like super fast inside me, then okay, sure, I can get through it, but uh, if I'm trying to, you know, have a natural flow, uh, you know, to my uh, speaking, yeah, it's not quite so easy. So, highlights, putting uh, putting green built, JP Big Dome joins the board. Board is concerned about our negative cash situation, you have two years to return to positive cash. Alright, so by the end of 2003, I believe, we need to be in the green again. Which is fine, which is fine. Um, we have three members at the moment. I mean, we're just gonna not spend any money right now, right? And we're just gonna make money, basically. And uh, I just want to see what Ivan Richman's got for us, and then I will see you in the next episode after that. Not after we place that, I hope. Because there are some things, like if she gives us a Buddha statue, uh, that's like a high level thing. Or like a pagoda or something. Well, Fieras, Ivan Richmond decided to donate an unusual rock face to your course. In the area near this land, land, nice English. Basically, no dandelions. So in, within this, uh, yeah, within this circle here maybe a little bit outside it as well there won't be any dandelions aka weeds going and i think maybe we put it there actually because we already have uh, we already have a lot of rocks in that area so and that means do you know what that means? oh what the hell did i touch right now i i dipped something down what did i dip down I did not mean to do that. I messed up the terrain somewhere. Where? Don't know where. Alright, we got five basic members right now. Actually, what the hell? Where did I change the terrain? I, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe I didn't. Who knows? What I can do right now, though, uh, we have to pay an upkeep for these groundskeepers and such, right? So we take this uh, first groundskeeper here and we just, uh, we just fire him. We don't need him here anymore. This thing is going to make sure the weeds don't grow here. And then we don't need a groundskeeper in this area anymore. So that's kind of nice. Also, people will be happy from seeing it. Uh, but yeah, we're making some progress on the money front here. And uh, that's about it i guess so uh thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did i would appreciate if you'd leave a like on the video maybe even subscribe for future content and oh look at that ivana's back again we're gonna pause this though and uh, well we'll continue in the next episode let's see what ivana has to give us uh, hopefully she needs to enjoy the course to be able to or to give it if she doesn't like it if she's unhappy when she's done playing you get nothing so yeah, uh, and there's other things too, like, uh, there's gonna come a guy called I am picky, and uh, he's gonna allow you to expand and buy more land. Uh, so by the time he comes by, we need to actually have a positive cash flow so we can afford that. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, Th thanks for watching, you can catch me in the next one, so have a good one.